On this Two Cent Tuesday, I'm going to talk about the seven things you need to be prepared to do all the time when you start RVing. Is wash dishes. I swear to you, every time I turn around, there's a pile of dishes in the sink. I am constantly washing dishes. Did I say that I get to wash dishes? Because I really do wash a lot of dishes. I swear in the camper, it's always washing dishes because it's such a small space. As soon as you get a few dishes, you want to keep it washed and you want to keep it up. If you don't, it will get overwhelming and then it will just take over the space. So you do want to keep up the dishes and you're gonna feel like you're washing them all the time. Is sweeping. I do not know where all the stuff comes from, but stuff gets trapped in this door constantly. And I probably sweep two or three times a day. If you don't, it'll pile up and make a worse mess than what it already is. So be prepared to sweep all the time. You're in dusty camping spaces and most of the time they do not have like a concrete pad or anything. And we even have like a great mat that we put down at the bottom of the steps and the top of the steps. And it does catch some of it, but it just keeps piling in. And our dogs don't even shed. So it's not dog hair, it's just, so be prepared to sweep. Is dust. Because typically when you're camping, you're in a place there's a lot of dirt and the dust just floats around and I swear I can dust everything and within one day it all needs to be dusted again. So be prepared to dust a lot. I feel like I dust, I just keep a little duster thing that I got at the Dollar Tree and I just run it around all the time, run it across the surfaces and try to keep the dust down. is share in the bathroom with your husband. Be prepared to fight over the bathroom. I've maybe another spot that I'd do my hair, my makeup, and blow my hair dry. But in the beginning, we push and shove a lot over the small space. We are constantly fighting over the bathroom because the house that we live in, we have three bathrooms. In the camper, you only have one. So if you have kids even, that's just gonna even be more people fighting over the bathroom. So just remember to be patient and try to make a plan on who gets the bathroom first and then just go from there because <laughs> you'll be fighting over the bathroom, I promise. <laughs> Is always be prepared to fix things that break. You're moving down the road, it doesn't matter how good they build things, it will break. Not every time when we get to a campsite, there is something broke. I, I had a cabinet up here when we moved from Asheville over to Myrtle Beach. The clamp broke. And I was like, oh my gosh. Well, I keep extra screws and all that in here. So I ended up fixing it. I moved it just a little bit and used a longer screw into it to fix it because it had broke the wood. And I mean, it was good. I mean, it wasn't that it was bad, but I don't know, banging around, the door broke. So I had to fix that. So I, you always feel like you're fixing things that break in your camper. And I don't care what kind of camper you have. We, this is our fourth camp. This is our fifth camper. This is our fifth camper and things broke in them all the time. When you're moving them down the road, bouncing around, things are gonna happen, so be prepared is be prepared to argue while you're backing in the camper. Me and Bill do not argue hardly at all. We just, we never have argued. I literally can count on one finger probably how many times that we've actually gotten into a fight on something other than backing in the RV. I swear when we back in the RV, we end up just getting so mad at each other 
But the good thing is when we do that, it's done. Like after we back in and we get mad at each other or we holler at each other or we snip at each other, once we're backed in, like we forget about it and we're done with it, which is great. But I, I, he swears that I go purposely stand behind the camper so that you cannot see me. And I'm telling him what to do. And he's like, I can't see you. <laughs> like. That means I want it to go that way. But for him, I think he thinks that means I'm supposed to turn, I don't know. Anyway, whatever way I point, he says I'm telling him the wrong way. So I've told him from now on, wherever way I'm pointing, that's how I want the butt of the camper to go. And I try not to stand behind the back of the camper. And I, I do that all the time, constantly. And it, it aggravates him. And for this, I found this perfect little sign at Hobby Lobby that I had to buy because this is the truth. So good. We start turning that way. All right, come back straight. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so when we have an RV, where, when do we fight the most? When you go to back up and you're behind the daggum camper telling me to go one way and I can't see you. Is rearrange and organize. I feel like I am always rearranging and organizing. And some people, this might not be what is for you, but me, I always want something to be better than it was or is. Because I'll put stuff in certain places and then it just didn't work. And two, even though you have everything in little baskets and stuff, people, you know, kids and husband, the husband deal, they put stuff in the wrong place. So you're constantly moving things and putting stuff up, but you do want to say super organized in the camper because it's a small space. And if you don't, it will get out of control really fast. So always be prepared to be moving things and organizing things all the time. Well, that is my top seven things to prepare to do all the time when you're RVing. And if you enjoyed this video, you will enjoy this video of what kind of decor works for us in our camper. Till next time, like and subscribe.